Welcome, welcome, one and all. I'm Mike, the Digital Kid, and this is PC Tengen, my chronological examination of every game released for the PC Engine, also known as the Server Graphics 16. Going by the Japanese release date for every Hue card, I'm going to give myself 10 minutes to play each game and tell you what I think of it. Today's game is another Namco arcade port, but with a very notable addition that makes it even meatier than the original. This game is World Court Tennis, known in Japan as Pro Tennis World Court, or just simply World Court by its uh, arcade name, released in Japan on August 11th, 1988, and in the U.S. in December 1989. After two baseball games, you might think I'd be daunted playing another sport, but tennis is easier to digest in game form, uh, generally being less complicated than baseball. And being a port of the arcade world court, it plays pretty much as that did, but the real meat is the console-exclusive quest mode, a tennis RPG. This technically makes World Court Tennis the second RPG released after Jaseken Necromancer, and one of the first, if not the first, translated into English. But while my general crappiness of sports and RPGs show throughout on this demonstration, well, I would hit the timer, but I'm going to cheat and just very briefly play on the default mode, just for a bit so you can see what it looks like. Yep, it's tennis. Pretty straightforward tennis. Pretty decent pace, pretty accurate hits. He hit a net. That's a point for me. That's a fault for me. You know how tennis plays, but I wanted to devote the full 10 minutes, actually, to the quest mode, so I apologize for the cheat. But, you gotta see this. And thus, I'm gonna show it. Let's hit the timer and find out what quest mode is like. 3, 2, 1, start. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. Wusoka Dap. Oh, I think that's a password. Yeah, this is a t uh, RPG that runs on a password save instead, which is a real pain to keep up with. But as you can see, Evil Tennis King appeared. Uh, it's not the most eloquently translated game, but. It gets the job done well enough. But yeah, I figured you probably get the idea of how tennis plays, so I might as well get into the most unique mode possible that this game offers. And so, off and away we go on the tennis RPG. Where we actually get to buy our own racket. Wow! That's a racket! Okay, I guess we have the default things we need for that. So, if you get better clothes, then you don't get assaulted as much. Well, okay, that's pretty obvious, at least. Win more, make more. Uh, okay, that was incredibly obvious. Uh, this is Chicago? That's a pretty sparse-looking Chicago. What is this? From the 1860s or whatever? Anyway, tennis fight! Let's go. And thus, the tennis RPG is underway. Shoot. I think tennis fights only go for one set. But... It is pretty interesting. Blending the gameplay of the original uh, World Court with an RPG overlay where you get to equip stuff that Enhances your performance and possibly... Oh! Top of the net hit. Nice. And possibly avoids uh, encounters if need be, but... I imagine slash hope that winning gets me more money. And I really hope that losing doesn't lose me money. But let's find out what I can do. This is a real back and forth for the... Oh, poo. Poo pee. Okay... Whoop. Maybe I could have smashed that, but... Oh, man! 
Okay, I could be demonstrating better tennis skills here. Of course, I don't know if I wandered into an incredibly tough enemy very early on. I might have, for all I know. Uh, oh no, 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 no. Okay. Ah! I lost. Okay, well, I guess we got money for losing. So that's nice. We actually didn't lose any money. We just got sent back to uh, Chicago, and we actually got some money for being a loser. That's pretty cordial of the game, I gotta say. Let's try this again. Let's actually beat it this time. Good. This is already going better. I say with some cockiness in tone. Very good. Yeah, I think that other opponent I fought was just too good. Oh. That other opponent I fought was just too good. This one? Not as good. I don't know if there's an actual sliding scale of AI difficulty depending on who you face, but that would be pretty darn sophisticated for its time if that were the case. Whoa! That's a lot of muns. Nice. Alright, and we don't get, uh, but... Hmm, what happens if I refuse? Oh. Yeah, it looks like it does the RPG equivalent of not being able to run from fights and forcing you into them anyway. Oh, it's just like an RPG, with all of its annoyances. <laughs> also, that encounter music sounds a lot like, I think, the Dragon Quest III fight music. Uh, but that's this is from Namco, not uh, Enix, so... Slash Chunsoft, so, uh, uh, I don't know if plagiarism is a foot or whatever, or if it is just a little lighthearted homage to the godfather of JRPGs as we know them today. But hey, we got another winner. And I got even more muns for this one. What?! I'm being challenged by Rick Taylor from Splatterhouse! Is this a crossover? But... Uh, but... But now... But now they're not masked. What was with the terror mask there? Uh... I mentioned Splatterhouse... Oh my lord. Whoop. Because... That was the game that actually got me hooked on the PC Engine in the first place. But it's going to be many, many episodes before we get to that one, sadly, so. But I'll be darned if that wasn't a potential crossover with Splatterhouse. Wait a minute, did this game exist before Splatterhouse, or was the, ar or was the original version already in arcades by the time this came out? Well, whatever the case, that was quite the surprise. I already fought this person. But, hey, we ran away. Ha ha ha. Let's just at least cross the bridge and see where that takes us. No, I have no idea what direction I should be going in. <laughs> Another Terror Mask denizen. And yeah, I'm almost certain it's a reference to the Terror Mask instead of... Uh... You know, just being Jason's hockey mask. Nuts! The net hit tripped me up. Shoot! Mmm. Mmm. Ha! Okay, this is tricky. But I think we can do this. Okay, I jinx it. We're doomed. Yeah, it looks like we lost.
Hmm. Well, it seems like our universal penalty for losing is getting sent back to the very beginning, which is quite agonizing if I do say so. Let's examine something. Uh... Looks like we can warp around in towns if we reach them, but... It seems like my skill is not enough, so... You either have to be really good at tennis, or really lucky and hope that you can get out of enough fights. Uh, tennis fights. Tennis matches. Random encounters. So, it is very much an old-school RPG with a pretty vicious penalty for losing, because I have no idea where the next town-slash-city is. If I could have gotten that far, it would have been pretty nice to show off, but... Either my skill is not enough, or the AI is pretty randomly malevolent in this game. I'm gonna blame the AI because I'm a sore loser like that. I mean, getting all this money is nice, but I already have a normal shirt, shoes, and racket, so... I don't know what's with the price gouging on the equipment I already have. Screw you, Rick! Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> Alright, well... I wish I could show off more of the RPG elements, but... It looks like the game's not letting me. So... I'm just gonna quick finish this match up, and we'll leave it at that. But yeah, Tennis RPG. Pretty neat idea and concept. Maybe a little frustrating in execution. There's nothing like a sort of heal spell that you can cast to keep you from getting sent back to the very beginning and miss. Oh, blast you. Uh... Here, I'm gonna let the timer run a little over time here, see if I can beat this. Oh, a deuce! This could go on forever! Alright, fine, I'm gonna cut it there. Screw this, that's enough tennis for today. Alright, uh, not my best showing, I guess not my worst. Uh, but yeah, there's the tennis RPG if you want to play it. Like I said, decent concept. Kind of weird in execution. I think that Mario Tennis on the Game Boy Color better refined the idea of a tennis RPG. But this is still pretty good for what it is, and actually pretty impressive and notable for uh, 1988 when it debuted, so... Yeah, World Core Tennis, definitely worth checking out. An instance of a home port being even better than the arcade original, at least by way of content edition. Like the PlayStation version of Point Blank and that's our, that game's RPG mode, which I thought was the coolest thing as a kid. But, and that was also by Namco, so Namco's good for their home ports. Um, but anyway, that's enough for today. I'm Mike the Digital Kid. This has been PC Tension. Thank you very much for stopping in, and I will see you next time for whatever game that is. Peace, everybody.